Oh, now you're gonna take the cord. Um, actually, okay, really, don't don't squeeze it though, like during the video. What's the thing called? The thing, the DIY thing. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You laughing at my affiliate money? I'm just trying to get rich so we could afford moving to Colorado. Hey, get out of there. What are you doing? You're a vegetarian. If you have the exact size of drill bit, I think it goes easier, but uh. All right, today, should be a quick video. We're gonna dose some cheese, cheesy puffs to the tank, and that's gonna help with pH, and uh, that's science. We got Lexi here to help us. She's brought another cheesy puff. Put those in your tank. Fish love to play with those. Um, actually, okay, really, don't don't squeeze it though. Like during the video, come on. No. All right, that was a bad idea too. Here, just just take it. Just go, just go away. Oh, now you're gonna take the cord. So you want to be? So you want to <laughs> film YouTube videos, huh? All right, get out of here. So today uh, I'm gonna make a. DIY, um, what's the thing called? The thing, the DIY thing. Uh, today I'm gonna make a DIY CO2 scrubber. Uh, I, I'm lazy, so I wanna change it as uh, not often as possible. So I got this uh, giant cheese balls container and uh, we're gonna hook that up. It's gonna be pretty straightforward. Uh, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a step drill or three quarter inch bit and that will be for uh, a couple of these and then uh, these barbs as well all this stuff is on Amazon so everything will be linked in the description so I can get affiliate money um, <laughs> and then have this tube this is a half inch outer diameter <laughs> what are you laughing at you laughing at my affiliate money? I'm just trying to get rich so we could afford moving to Colorado. Anyways, I've been interrupted by the gallery. Um, yeah, so you need that. And then uh, these little hose bibs, I'll explain what this container is uh, for later. Uh, it's process is simple though. I just tested it so you won't get the satisfaction of seeing me drill that. Uh, process though, drill into this one. That will have the uh, input and then we will put the output somewhere down low, forcing the air through the media. And then this will go into the intake of the skimmer. Uh, the input will actually pull from the skimmer lid here. So we will drill a hole. You gotta get as close to this edge as possible because uh, it's pretty tight so there's a pretty good chance I screw that up, but it'll be good enough for uh, science. And then, yeah, so go ahead and get started. Okay, first things first, let's try to drill the hardest part here. Somewhere in this area, this looks good-ish. And I did note in my, my test that I had to take a little bit more than the three quarter inch. So that's kind of why I'm doing a little bit extra here. Still need to be a little bit bigger. Let's see how that is. It's almost good enough. If you have the exact size of drill bit, I think it goes easier. But uh, you could also use a thread uh, or a tap system to put this on as well. I think 
this should work feels like that's gonna go on so let me go ahead and just clean this up okay so that part is all set so skimmer here you can see just in the back that way it will go I'm gonna put the container on the other side there so now I'll pull in air from the top here I drilled an additional hole you can I guess use these holes but I just wanted it to uh, pull in as much air as possible so just left it Anyways, our next step is to drill the cheesy puffs. And you could actually use the puff media by default. You don't need the CO2 scrubbing media. Uh, cheesy poofs have great CO2 absorbing uh, properties. So you know, feel free to just run that. Um, they'll turn uh, brown when they're expired. So I'm gonna throw them out though and use legit media. Oh no, my cheesy poof got free. Get it, Lexi. Get that cheesy poof. Hey, get out of there. What are you doing? You're a vegetarian. He's on a strict diet. He can't have cheesy poofs. Get out of here, crazy. All right, from here we're basically done. Just got to drill holes in the top. Uh, so just going to put this, uh, well, let me see. The label side is right here. So that's where I'll put my return down there. So I want right about here in the cheesy poofs. Just go real slow when you're drilling. super easy that'll be this one I'll just super glue that on so it can't spin and then the next one like I said this side was the label I want it down as far as possible that's okay if it's kind of angled down like that right around here so there you go you got the input up top, and then you got the output down here. Then on the inside there, where I put the output down here, which I just realized that no one could have seen what I was doing before, but whatever. Uh, I have this little piece of, um, what is this, the fabric, the stuff you get at the fabric store. It's like that little mesh stuff. And that will go on the end here. I'll super glue it, and that way none of the uh, media can get stuck inside or inside the line. So yeah, I'll do that and then I'll show you the rest of the setup. Okay, so let's talk about how this project ended up. So for the first uh, week or two, I used the cheesy poof container here and the design uh, wasn't the best. You can still use this container. I just probably wouldn't recommend it because the top is not super airtight because uh, they don't care if your cheesy poofs get stale. Uh, the design though went of course in the top here and instead of going through the bottom which is the better way to do it I went through the side that created a, a scenario where it kind of made a wedge the air went this way so all this media down here wasn't getting used so I decided to upgrade to the co2 scrubber uh, 2.0 so this is what I have now it's been on the tank for uh, about uh, two months now, no, almost three. Uh, this, I just filled up the media a couple weeks ago uh, for the first time. This is a two gallon container that I got off Amazon and it holds uh, probably around 12 pounds or so of media. I got the big, big jug from MedVet. And uh, same design we have, I'll show you how it kind of works here. So you saw I drilled into the top of the skimmer. That is the intake. 
And then uh, one other upgrade I had to do was to get a, a little bit more humidity in there. I had to uh, cover these holes up with some tape. So all of these holes except the one way in the back there, those are all covered up with tape. So that way it's not doing, you know, it's really recirculating the air. So it comes through there into this one, which is meant to give it more humidity. Also act as a, a drip off if that one um, becoming too humid and creating condensation. And then goes into here. And I have this up on two little blocks right now because the hole uh, for the outtake is right down at the center. So this works out a lot better. Towards the end, uh, what I found is you can shake it around and you'll get a little bit longer life. But I got two months out of the first set of media and my pH has increased about 0.3 on average. So overall, I would definitely recommend uh, putting on a CO2 scrubber. If you have the space, uh, you could do it this way. You could also get you know different containers uh, that would just last you longer because a lot of people don't want to do the CO2 scrubber because they feel like you're gonna have to change the media out so often. Uh, and that's exactly why I DIY'd it instead of just using a cheap media reactor or something like that. Also, after I installed this, I noticed an immediate bump in in my calcium reactor uh, in terms of alkalinity consumption. So I had to uh, turn up the calcium reactor. I'll turn down the pH all the way down to 6.6. .6. Now I'm running the pH in the reactor here. Had to turn that down and then had to go up from around uh, 60 milliliters per minute and I'm currently at 90. So uh, the corals definitely appreciated it. And I've had to actually increase uh, to a second chamber as well. So anyways, that is the DIY scrubber. There's not much more to it. Quick look at the tank. I'll have all the parts in the link below. I'll have all the parts in the description below, rather. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.